Good day to our grade 6 learners and welcome to another episode of Fun Ways to Learn Math on TV. I'm Teacher Mar at your service. And today, we will define and illustrate the meaning of ratio and proportion using concrete and pictorial models. Hello, Dina. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Donations for the people? That's great. Any advice for the distribution? Mm. One person, five cans of sardines. Copy that, Dina. Thanks. If in a family there are four members, then how many cans of sardines will the family receive? In a family with four members, they will receive 20 cans of sardines. Easy, right? Well, what if there are 10 members in the family? Or 12? Or more? Math offers you an easy trick. And here's how. One person receives five cans of sardines. In here, we compare quantities. What are these quantities? That's right, the number of persons and the number of cans of sardines. The comparison of these two quantities is what we call ratio. Ratio can be expressed in three ways. One is to five in column form, one is to five in fractional form, and one is to five in words. So if one person receives five cans of sardines, then two persons is to 10 cans of sardines, three is to 15, and four persons is to 20 cans of sardines. This shows proportion. Proportion is the equality of two ratios. 1 is to 5 is in proportion with or equal to 4 is to 20. So, if 2 persons is to 10 cans of sardines, 3 is to 15, and 4 is to 20, how about 5 persons? Correct. It's 25. Now let's try. There are 3 plates and 4 cups on the table. What is the ratio of plates to the cups? You're right, it's three to four. If the ratio of the number of plates to the number of cups is three to four, how many cups do we need if there are nine plates? Very good, we need 12 cups for nine plates. Earlier, we used pictures to understand the concept of ratio and proportion. That is, one person is to five cans of sardines, or simply one to five. At this rate, how many cans of sardines will 10 persons receive? How about 12? Wonderful job. To apply what you have learned in this episode about ratio and proportion, check out the What's More section of your math mojo. Mm -hmm. What's more in your math mojo? Have fun learning and see you next time in our next episode of Math Legends TV. <laughs>